take out some time and talk to the pony like you would talk to the girl. Now, for the uh, ladies, I recommend a good old Autobot from Transformers. Because you can get to learn how to examine the mechanics and variations of each and every, I mean, of the uh, Autobot you have. Like uh, you would try, like you would learn how a man works, and it'll allow you to feel more comfortable in approaching and talking to that boy you've been flirting from a distance, or uh, just been uh, flirting with from a distance. And uh, hopefully, uh, all you all you have to do is just end up and say hello. Is this guy seriously stammering as much as he is? I mean, he's got it written down. I mean, it's not so hard. All you have to do is say hello to the man, ladies, that's all. And everything will just get rolling from there. And also, uh, with the uh, Autobots, well, it's a vehicle, well, you can, you can drive down that imaginary fast lane. But in any, in any case, uh, while few people may ridicule you, you should not worry about it. If you, if, because most everybody will be all totally okay with it, because it won't matter. To them. That stuff in your hand is called paper. On the paper are letters. Those letters make up words. You can read the words. So read the freaking words! I mean, I swear, if you stammer that much one more time, it's going to be a big face palm moment for everyone. It won't matter, because... They see you enjoying it, and that's totally cool if you're enjoying it. So you enjoy it, just do it. Don't worry about other people's op opinions. Because uh, compared to the other school, those people who disregard you are just total peanuts. Those people are just total peanuts. What was that? And I'm not talking Charlie Brown, I'm talking about the little nuts yeah, with the shells. The real peanut gallery. <laughs> that would be peanuts, wouldn't it? Also keep in mind that while you're playing with these things, you should keep in mind of what your true original gender is. Because uh, it's like you're learning about that girl you want to take on a date, young man. Or uh, likewise, you feel more comfortable to approach that boy and just saying hello that you've been checking out from a distance, young lady. Could you have sounded any more condescending there just out of sheer curiosity? And hopefully in due time or now, each and every one of you will stay straight. You know, girl for boy, boy for girl. Everything else is vice, as said by Dr. Kinsey. Not just for me, not for the big man upstairs, not for your family, but do it for uh, yourself and for, and for the benefit. Okay, that's it. You can't say I didn't warn you. Of everyone in the future, your children, your children's children, and besides, if you stray away from the straight path, it can really jeopardize the entire future of the world and the human race. Also, girls and ladies, don't just go over Gaga over the handsome rich boys and men, because they may turn out to be disrespectful and distasteful in their personality. You should take into consideration all the other gentlemen that uh, you may have considered that may be less attractive or equally less or moderately. Because those will, because they will likely have a better personality that you will, t that you will generally enjoy and like, and they may end up having a brighter future for themselves. Like look at me now, I'm shooting this movie for a DVD. You cannot be serious. That's got, that I hope will be shown in a couple of schools at least. Now uh, also. Uh, Also, when you each when each and every one of you has a true general understanding of the uh, opposite gender, and after finding that special man, ladies, or that special girl, gentlemen, always keep to heart and memory the times that you two felt most attracted to each other, because that will be a key point 
to the recovery from any disputes or arguments that you two might have in the future. Otherwise, uh, you two would just be darn happy with each other. But it's not all always going to be peaches and cream or strawberry shortcakes. And also remember, you two should keep each other. Because there will be nobody else, no matter how much you think about it, nobody else that can replace that special someone, him for her or her for him. There's just nobody else. There's no substitute for that first one. And now, I leave you with the lessons that you should have, I hope you have learned from my message. You should, all, you should stay in school. Learn as you much. And try before you praise or despise. Never smoke. Never drink. Never worry about how others think of you when you do things. Or when you play with things that may not, that may not seem like you or whatever. Don't be afraid to approach those of your opposite gender. And most importantly, please stay straight. You can't make me. No, I'm not really gay. I just had to make that boomstick reference. I leave you with those words, as I have shared with you on this, my 25th birthday, February 24th, 2007. I am Christopher Christian Weston Chandler. Live long and shine on in your very own unique way. War is never the answer. Peace is. Never fight. Compliments will get you fuzzy wuzzies. War gets you prickly wicklies, as well as punches that get you those too. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. You know, Chris Chan, I am sure that video could have failed a lot more. I'm just not sure how.